In this video, we're going to do this Alex problem, finding a final amount in a word problem on exponential growth or decay. This is in the expo exponents and logarithms section of Alex. So we have a city that has a population of 290,000 people. The population grows by 5.75%. What will the population be after 10 years? And then they're going to give us the calculator, or obviously you can use your own calculator, round your answer to the nearest whole number. So when we're setting up these problems, we're going to start with our initial amount. Um, so we take that uh, initial amount, I'm gonna call that P for principal, and then we take one either plus or minus the rate. And we decide whether it's plus or minus based on whether the situation is an increasing situation or a decreasing situation. And then we raise that to the power of T where T is time. And that gives us our final amount. So our principal here is the 290,000 people. And then our population here is growing, so that means we're going to use a plus sign. This problem category has both uh, growth and decay problems in it. So sometimes it will be decreasing. If it's decreasing, you would use the minus. If it's increasing or growing, you would use the plus. Now for my rate, my R, I'm going to convert a percent to a decimal. So 5.75% is 0 0.0575, and you can get that by dividing percent means per 100, so divide by 100 to get that as a percent or as a decimal. So 0 0.0575 for R, and then T is going to be my time in years in this case, so that's 10 years. So plug this uh, into your calculator, just type it in, and uh, when I do that, I get this number. So rounding to the nearest whole number, since 0.29 is less than 0.5, it would round down to 507,226. The problems in this category are all fairly similar to this, except for one problem type that's a little bit different, so I'm going to show this one. Uh, this one is about half-life of a radioactive isotope, uh, which is the time that it takes for an amount to be reduced to half of its initial mass. So half of its initial, initial mass, we are um, reducing or decreasing the amount, and we're starting with 160. The question is how much will be left after three half-lives. So this is going to be my P our principal amount, and this is going to be the T. Now the R here is not given as a number, it's given in word form here as half, but that's going to be 0 0.5 because we are reducing it um, by half to half of its initial amount. So plugging into the formula here, <clears throat> we're going to have A equals, again, I'll write the formula out, so that's going to be 160, um, 1 minus 0.5, again, because it's decreasing, and then my t is going to be 3. 